The Korean War is sometimes called the Forgotten War, but today those who fought in it were remembered at a special ceremony in Avon Lake. News Channel 5's Dave Arnold was there as two local soldiers were honored more than 60 years after they went missing. Preparations came early for today's Department of Defense's ceremony at Avon Lake's American Legion Post 211, honoring over 100 Korean War veterans. We recognize the significance of what has been an underappreciated chapter in our nation's history. From the Department of Defense, that's Army Colonel David J. Clark, here in part to honor two recently identified MIAs as part of the 60th anniversary of the Korean War. The word hero gets tossed around pretty lightly these days, and uh, these guys were bona fide heroes. Uh, these were true American heroes. In July, we told you the story of one Korean War soldier finally identified and brought home. After 62 years of being listed as missing in action, U.S. Army Corporal Pryor Goebel's family was there today to receive the DOD certificate and honor. Went missing in 1950 of only 13 years of age. Glenn Goebel was Pryor's youngest brother. We always retained that hope that one day he would come walking through that door, you know, but... It never happened, but we did fortunately get his remains back into this country. Also honored was recently identified Clarence Bud Huff Jr. His family also there, sharing memories with the Goebel family. We have, for your service. The gravity of this ceremony was not lost on junior auxiliary member, 12 year old Kiara McCoy. It gives me more of an idea about what happened then and what's happening now. And it kind of gives kids more understanding. Some gave some, but some gave all. And he gave all that he had, and that was his life. Dave Arnold, News Channel 5. More than 300 Korean War veterans will be honored this fall during the 60th anniversary at Lorain County American Legion Post in Avon Lake, Sheffield Lake, and Elyria. We say congratulations to all of them, and it's been a long time coming.